Hi, I'm Subra Kumar Swami. I'm the uh, head of product security at Apache. Today, I want to talk to you about internet threats and how you can protect your APIs and microservices from threats such as injection attacks. Injection attacks are one of the common attacks on your APIs and microservices. Uh, these are attacks where APIs can be manipulated in a way that attacker would inject either a SQL command or a JSON command into your payload and potentially impact your backend, which means you know you can result in a data breach or it could impact the service availability itself. I'm going to show you how easy is it for you to simply use Apigee Edge uh, policies. These are built-in policies to protect your APIs and microservices. Let's jump in right away. So I have a, a proxy that is currently called Threat Protections. Uh, so this, this particular uh, uh, proxy is uh, designed to protect threats such as JSON injection attack, XML injection, and SQL injection. So let's go in into the develop mode. As you can see, there are three different policies. Again, these are policies that are out of the box, available to you uh, simply by you know dragging and dropping uh, policies into the preflow. Uh, the first, the first policy is your XML threat protection. This protects your APIs from any kind of XML bomb, such as recursive query into the XML, and that can hog all your backend uh, resources. Same thing goes to JSON threat protection. And again, this is a you know a JSON threat protection at the payload level. The last one, which is what I'm going to talk to you about today and demo it, is the regular expression threat protection policy. This policy can be used to protect your backend APIs and microservices from any kind of SQL injection attacks. And as you know, the SQL injection attack is, not, is the number one attack by uh, OWASP top 10 standard. Hackers would typically try to inject commands, SQL commands, to interfere with your backend services such that they can sidestep the controls and get access to your data. So let's look at the type of uh, patterns here. We have, as part of the regular expression, you know, we're looking for certain type of patterns that are uh, abusive and potentially can impact your APIs. So these are commands like delete, exec, drop table, insert, and so forth. So I'm going to show you uh, a quick demo of how an attacker would go about doing this. I'm launching a, po a postman. And I'm going to start with a very simple innocuous command, say select. I'm assuming that select is uh, you know, uh, going to be OK for now. But in certain cases, select may also be a, a, a banned keyword. So now I'm going to send this command. And before I send this command, I'm going to make sure we can trace this session so we can see the attack in action. So I have started this trace session. I'm going to go back and send the command. This is a good command. OK, so we got a success. So that's OK. That's good. And as you can go back and see here in the, the trace, the command succeeded, and we gave us 200 OK error uh, code, which is the good outcome. Now let's go back to the same command here, uh, which is the API call. And I'm going to go back. I'm going to go and make it delete. The hacker is trying to uh, delete a table, as an example. Now this particular command, when I execute, as you can see, I right away got error code. And as you and you go back to your um, trace session here, you got a 400. Now the actually the command when it uh, blocked the delete com the, the policy as it blocked the delete command, it gave a 500 error code. But we have done what we have done is in the policy we have converted that to a 400. The reason being that we don't want to give any clues to the hacker about what we are doing with the with the particular policy uh, control. We want to make sure that you know we give a very s simple message and doesn't really give any clues to the hackers. And uh, in this particular um, error message here, you can see that we have de detected a fault, which is basically a threat detection that actually matched the pattern. 
Anyway, so this is a, again a very simple and easy way uh, and you have to make sure that you ha add this in line to every single proxy so you can protect all your backends and services from API threats such as the injection attacks. Thank you.